So how are you feeling today? I'm good. I'm hot, but I'm good. Listen, you constantly face the front of just being like one of these black empowered young women in this industry right now. How does it feel? It feels good. I mean, I feel like we need more girls like us and just more young people that are trying to make the world a better place because our people that are supposed to be doing are not. So, I mean, we have to do it. Let's talk about these upcoming projects, sis. What you got going on? Uh, so I just did an HBO pilot with Zendaya called Euphoria, so I'm very excited about that. And then I have a Bloomhouse film coming out later this year called Only You with David Oyelowo. You being a young black sister, keeping your head on straight in this industry, I mean, you've constantly been able to do it without fail. Um, what's your advice? I would say have a, a good support system around you, and I feel like my mother is not going to let me go anywhere else but the right way. <laughs> um, uh, and, and just, like, keep, like, making sure, I would just say your support system and making sure you're surrounding yourself with right friends and just, like, making sure that you are, keep focused throughout whatever you're doing. Stormy, we're always talking about traveling. Like, what is one place you would want to go to this upcoming summer? Oh, well, I'm, I'm traveling a lot. I just came back from France, which is, like, one of my dream places. Um, and then I'm going to Kenya later in July. So I feel like I'm doing all, like, the, the real deal good. That's right. You were at the Kane's Experience. How was that? Yes, it was good. It was good. I did a Unilever panel called Unstereotype, basically kind of trying to take stereotypes out of advertising and the content we consume now. So it was very powerful. Last question, love. If you had a biopic, who would you want it to be in? Oh, there's so many people. Oh. Give me three. Give me three. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think I could pick. Okay, Miss Oprah. Okay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um. Uh, I feel like she's the top of the list okay. that I would want to see. So Oprah just became one of the billionaires. She's number 494. What does that feel like for you? I, I mean, I, I know this lady, so I'm like, yes, queen. Bow down, yes, queen. No, but she's worked hard, and, and she deserves every bit of, like, the success and, and the acknowledgement that she's getting, so I'm very proud of her. Ms. Reed, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.